Okay. So last time we have learned how to um, generate a pair of keys, public and private key, and how to uh, encrypt the message, decrypt the message, and how to send uh, the key, export the key, and import the key. All right. And also we learn how to sign a message using the digital signature. This is the here from the digital sign a document and also we, know, we learn how to verify the signature and also we learn how to extract the signature and the message in separate way. So, okay, and the last thing that we do not do it very well. So I'm going to have to um, create a new, for example, new file, sign it and then encrypt it and so on. So first of all, before you sign, you have to encrypt. Right, so you can say, uh, my key, my key is one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and I will go and say, okay, please encrypt this message, and I'm gonna use my key, and I will say encrypt. Uh, but before I encrypt, I have to say what? I have to go and say what? Sign a document, and then I choose my key to sign the document, okay, and because I am going to sign the document, that will ask me for the pen, and I will say sign, this is the signature for that, okay, um, if you receive a message, you can say um, verify the signature, and you choose this one, uh, that will give me correct signature, because I am the right person to sign that one, okay, if you open a message before you decrypt it, okay, you want to make sure that that person is already signed the message. You have to say, uh, open the encrypted message and go and do what? And do a file, um, verify the signature. And that you choose the person that who sent you the message to make sure that is that the person or not. And then you say what? That I will tell you if it's invalid or a correct signature. Incorrect. Now, uh, the second thing is that we talk about that extract signature. You wanna, if I ask you some question about the content of the message, you want to extract the signature from the message. So I say extract. Now that will extract and give you some information about the message that you will not be able to see it. So here, if I ask you some question here, okay. Uh, if I ask you some question here, to sign the message, you can see there is someone around and there's a, a number here. What's the message and so on. All right. But um, if I ask you and say, for example, I did not encrypt the message yet. OK, I did not encrypt the message yet. All right. I'm just uh, demonstrate before encrypting the message. Um, if I ask you split that, OK, I could say, um, uh, extract the message that will give you a very good information all right in order in, in instead of checking in this in this um, you know uh, hexadecimal and the letters and so on this is easy signer is the name of the signer person and this is the key length is 124 the algorithm is rsa and this is the date and the day the exact time in second that at uh, this uh, sign, okay, and this is the algorithm used to sign, and the hash function is MD5, all right, and you can see that you can convert it to hexadecimal or octal or decimal or whatever you want to see exactly. Um, so this is the message here. Split the message from the signature. This is the signature, and this is the message, and. Also, it tells you the length of the message. So the length of the message is 18 bytes, and the length of the signature is what? 124 bytes. So if I ask you any information about the who signed the message, what time the message signed or created, what is the algorithm used, what is the hash function used, you can come here and say signature, extract, signature, and you can see all the information. And even when you say extract, you can click on verify, and you can click on verify and verify it from here if you want. Okay. All right. So uh, this is it. If I encrypt the message now, okay, if I encrypt the message right now, I say digital encrypt, 
And I would say, OK, encrypt this message using this key. And I would say, OK, please encrypt it. This is the encryption, OK? In order, if you say verify signature right now, that will give you nothing. Because what? Because it's encrypted. You cannot verify it. So first of all, you have to decrypt it, all right? So I say, OK, assignment, decryption, and this is the guy who sent me, and one, two, three, four, five, six, the key, and decrypt. So since you decrypt it, OK, now it's up here to you that the message is here, and then you can go and say verify signature, and choose that person here, and you say verify, and that will give you a, probably a correct. OK, uh, now. And you can say extract. OK, that also will give you the message separately and the key here and all the information about the sign. -up. So you can check and make sure that he is OK or not. Now look at the message length here is different now because we added something. So 95, but the key length is still the same. All right, after decryption, it will be a little bit different. Um, OK, that's what, what we learned last time in addition to the encryption and decryption. And if you want to see the uh, steps, how to do that, you can see that this is the steps. Open the document, and then you can say, OK, that's what happened, OK? Uh, you select the hash function, you generate the key, and then the certificate will be attached to the signature. So this is the, shows you the steps how to do that. Uh, what else do we need, Lulia? All right, we, we have uh, something called hybrid. Now, as you can see that hybrid is a combination of encryption. So it's encrypt with uh, using symmetric key and this symmetric key. So if you choose encryption here, uh, that will show you the steps in how to do that. Right? What I'm going to do here is to do a hybrid encryption. What I'm going to have, I will have um, uh, to share a secret key with you, just one key. But how do I share this key with you? I will encrypt this key using my public key, my private key, and you, need, you can decrypt it using your private key. So for example, I'm going to open a message a uh, good message or write any message. Let's open existing. OK, where is that message from? Uh, open. And this one. OK, let's say hello, doctor. Uh, good evening, mister. Mister and so on. So this is the message. What I'm going to do is now I will I will generate a secret key and encrypt it and send it to the guy. So what happened here, this message, this message will be encrypted using what? Using secret key, which is I should send it to you, right? So what I do, I generate a key, I encrypt the message using this key, and then I encrypt them together using public key. So what I do now, I'll go to the hybrid, and I say RSA ES encryption. You can use another algorithm, but we only learn RSA. So we say RSA. The document is open. Okay, if you want to open another document, you can click on that, but we're going to use the same document. So it is open already. So I'm saying this is the document. Yeah, it is reading here. So getting the old document, that's fine. I don't have to open the document, it should be saved. So this is what's written in the document. So I'm going to go and generate the session key. All right. If you have a session key already, you can use it. Go to the encryption directly. But if you don't have a session key, you can generate the key. And you say, OK, generate my session key. That will generate a session key. To see the session key, it's a random key. All right. So every time you use different random key, it could be the same, but it's randomly. It's selected what? It's a session key is selected randomly. Now, if I am in the same session, I could use this. Uh, it will give me the same um, the same key. But if I go and close it again, I probably will give me the different key. All right. The most important now, I'm going to use this key to encrypt this message. 
Okay, I'm going to use this key to encrypt the message. Okay, but how I will send you the key for you to decrypt the message? I have to encrypt this key using my public key. So what I do is say encrypt the document first. I'm going to encrypt the document. Show me the encrypted document. This is the encrypted document. If you don't want to see it, that's fine. You can save it if you want. Now, what I will do now, I will encrypt both. I will encrypt the key and the encrypted message together, okay, using my public key. So I'm click on select symmetric key. I will get, okay, choose my key, all right, and I will say, okay, encrypt it, please. Now, this is the key I'm using it. This is the key I use. Do you want to see that? You can see it in hexadecimal if you want. Okay. Now encrypt the session key. This is the session key. I'm going to encrypt the session key. Okay. Here we go. All right. You can see the encrypted session key here. It's a very long key. It's not, and not anymore like this. It's encrypted now using the public key. Okay. So, um, yeah, this is the one, encrypt, session key encrypted. I will say, okay, now save. This is the message. Now it will be saved. What's the name of it? If I say, if I save as, it'll give me a cry high vault. okay? I'm gonna save it on the same name before. So I'm gonna say save, yeah. This is the name. Now this message, you send it to your friend. It's encrypted, okay? It is encrypted with my public key. You see, the one should be received it is this guy. So if I received it, let's assume that you, you received it, I will go and say, first of all, I have to go and say, I bought, I'm gonna offer the decryption, okay? Because here it tells me that this guy used what? uses RSA and AES, AES and RSA. You can see them here. So I can say, okay, hybrid RSA, AES, decryption, uh, continue. You choose the key and you put the pin number for encryption. Okay, this is my private key now. Okay, I will decrypt the key, the session key. Here we go. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Is it one, two, three, four, five, six? And say okay. So now um, I will decrypt the session key. Okay, I can see that this is the session key encrypted. Encrypted. I need to decrypt it. Okay. So I'm gonna say okay, decrypt it, please. Now this is the session key is generated before. Decrypt the session key. Now I will use this key to decrypt what? To decrypt the message, okay? So I click on what? On decrypt. Now this is the message. Um, all right, so what will happen? I will write a message, okay? Good. After that, I will go and generate session key, okay? The session key is a random key. Okay, and this session key will be using what? R SA. Okay, so doesn't matter any algorithm you use. After you generate the session key, you go and what? Encrypt the message using what the key using session key you encrypt what you encrypt the message okay the output will be what will be cipher message will be cipher message okay now i have to encrypt then what i will do after that I will go and say, okay, this is the session key. I'll take it. I will encrypt. Let's do it here. I will encrypt. Encrypt 
the session key key using what using my public my private key or if you want to send it to other person you know you can use his public key key now what's the output from this one the output from this one is encrypted Russian key okay now what you will do you take a uh, encrypted session key and plus the message then cipher message and send it to what to someone okay then send it to someone all right now the guy who received this one will do the opposite will take the session key this operation now the receiver let's put uh, here this is uh, encryption okay. and this is decryption okay the receiver is going to do the opposite thing so instead of encrypt what he will do he will do what decrypt Either using this a private key, if someone encrypted with uh, his public key, or he will use the public key for someone, if someone sent him this message, and decrypt the session key. So here we will get the session key, not the encrypted one. All right. And then we take the opposite here. Okay, if that message. We we'll take the session key. What we do here instead of that, message here we'll do decrypt instead of encrypt do decrypt decrypt the cipher message and we are uh, encrypted such in key as i mean encrypted key and in here we say decrypt the message using the session key, you will get what? You will get the message and then you can read it. Okay. So this is what, what happened. I combined two methods, symmetric and asymmetric. I used public and secret key, symmetric and asymmetric in this case. 